Um, right, are you ready for this one? Because I have, well, it's got actually quite a big haul, but you wouldn't think it with just one carry bag. But this is a haul from a Home Bargains with a little bit of Wilco's thrown as well. There's not much from Wilco's, but mostly Home Bargains. Let's get started. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I'm so pleased that you stopped by um, and I feel really privileged that you're watching this video. Um, and if you are, then please hit that subscribe button and please press that bell notification if you haven't done already. I would absolutely love to have you on board. So um, I've done a Home Bargains, which is a great shop. Um, but I think they do have them all over the country, but you tend to see them a little bit more in the nor north than you do in the south. But I'm gonna show you uh, what I've bought. Now it's all kiddified and it's all to do with Christmas. Um, but let's have a look. I'm going to show you the biggest thing. But, oh no, hang on, I'll show you this first of all. So I did buy this, but if you've seen my haul already on Bent Garden Centre, then you can see that I bought another mat. Um, but this is Ho Ho Ho, and I really loved it. Um, but this was only a fiver um, compared to the Christmas mat that I bought. So, But I'm thinking that's going to go back, unless I keep them both, because they do tend to get tatty very quickly, don't they? So I'll see, but... I doubt it because it's £15 on uh, two doormats, but I bought that, so that might end up going back. So here's what is in my little bag. Oh, I've got this. I thought this was really cute. Um, this is um, a wooden bucket that looks like Santa's suit. And actually, I'm going to try and make a Christmas decoration out of this um, for my mum. So I'm going to be working on that in the next couple of weeks. So that's one coming up. So I don't know whether you want to go and get that. I think it's about 3 99 And I'll show you what I'm actually going to do with that uh, for Christmas. And I thought that was really cute. Uh, you could actually do somebody a hamper in that as well for Christmas if you wanted to. Or you could have it as your bin in your front room if you wanted to there's lots of different things that you could do with it but i'm going to make a christmas decoration out of it if you've got a very small tree it could also be the um the base for your tree that's my first thing and then i got this so i can't remember how much this was which is a little bit of a a pain isn't it but anyway it's home bargain so it wouldn't have been much but frankie jack and i absolutely love doing jigsaw puzzles so i've actually got a jigsaw puzzle with a thousand pieces now I know, he's five year old and it's probably way too big, but I couldn't resist it. Um, I'll have a go. Um, it's the most amazing scene because it's that traditional Christmas that I absolutely love. Um, so we'll we'll see. We'll see whether um, uh, we get that done or whether I just put it up in the loft and I keep it for years to come uh, for when he gets a little bit older. But he absolutely loves doing jigsaws. I got um, this from Home Bargains and uh, I think this was around about £1.50. Um, you can also get them with Santa. They've got the straw um, in it, which is um, a plastic straw, which is a, a, a one that's reusable. And you just take the top off, unscrew the top and um, put the drinks in there you can also get that in santa but i decided to get the elf because i am going to do a little bit of an elf on the shelf with that one um talking about elf on the shelf i've got a lot of stuff with that i got these um children's socks they're six to eight and a half years old and they've got um the little pads on the uh underside of them um so that allows them to stop um slipping and actually they've got crocodiles uh, not crocodiles um tyrannosaurus rex is that the right one? Because I've never been into my dinosaurs um, with a um, Santa's hat on. So I thought that was really cute um, for little gifts through December. Um, not much of a gift, but, you know, little bits and pieces. I got the dogs some toys. Now, whenever you look at toys for dogs, there's always loads of them, but they're way too big for my dogs because my dogs are little. So I got this one and it's got feathers coming out of his bottom because, of course, it's for cats. But those feathers are either pull out or let them pull out but zippy will go mad for that that's one of my dogs um then i got some uh magic snow uh, this magic snow actually if you mix it with water it expands to 100 times size so brilliant for doing um decorations with it and things like that if you want to do a snow scene problem is if you re-wet it it loses its consistency or whatever it is um so you can't re-wet it once you wet it and it expands you go if you so you can't have it outside basically because i'm thinking oh i can have it all over my lawn no you can't but it expands to 100 times the size so step one is you mix with water. Step two, you let it do its stuff. Step three, it'll expand. 
Um, now I got this. I thought this was really great value. £1.49. It is Elf on the Shelf. It's actually stated as Elf on the Shelf. And this has got um, stickers in it. Frankie Jack. Um, it's also got puzzles that he can do. Um, it's got um, a countdown to um, where they found the Scout Elf. So he can count down where he's found him every day and put a different sticker about where he's hiding. Because we haven't just got Elf on the shelf. He's actually got a mate that comes as well with us. Um, I got these because I thought these were fantastic for work. Um, I think these were about a pound or, or two pounds again. Not much. Really useless. I can't find my receipts. So I can't tell you what everything is. But it's home bar so it'll hardly be anything it's like pounds 79p 59p um, but I thought they were really cool um, for work they've got little ears and you've also got the hat now if you watch my Bent's garden centre which will be in the description below if you haven't seen it which is the best Christmas decoration displays of all time uh, they have things like that on the tree so you could actually buy that snap off the back of the glasses and actually use that as decorations on your tree um I've got this, so uh, the, these are brilliant. So these are the elves footprints. So I'll put these all the way through the house, obviously when the elf comes to visit and we'll make a little scene where he skipped, hopped and a jump through the house, which I'm really looking forward to because I get really excited um, about stuff like that. Um, I got a little elf door, um, but actually I'm not that pleased with this one. It's a bit, well, it's a bit, plasticky and a bit papery um i've just seen tonight there's better elf doors for only two pound in b and m so go and get it from there um i also have i thought this was really cute and it was about 79p um i thought it was absolutely or it might have been 89p um special delivery to santa you've got the opening here and um i thought we could put um little letters in there and things like that that might want to come from the elf I've also got, this is cool, um, this is Elf Bonting, so all their outfits, um, and you can string it up as if they've been hanging their outfits out, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, I've got a Christmas storybook. This was only 69p and it's got loads of different um, Christmas stories in here. My snowman friend. Um, it says, uh, what's the other one? Christmas on, Christmas on the farm. Um... And it says stories I have read, look. So Christmas on the farm, Santa's little helper, the Christmas fairy, the night before Christmas, Santa's busy day, the Christmas elf, the little Christmas tree, Teddy's Christmas present, the magic reindeer and the Christmas snowman. And they can actually tick them off once they've read. Now, Frankie Jack would need me to read that to him, but I thought it was something that we can read when we go to bed at night through December. I've also got, I really love these um, for his Christmas party. But I've just had a thought I might need to change because I'm a real stickler for everything going with everything in my home. So actually, if they're coming in to eat at his Christmas party in our lounge, our lounge is all silver and white. So these aren't going to go. So although I absolutely love them, I think these are going to be going back. But I thought those were fabulous napkins. If you do the candy cane theme, they would be brilliant. Now, if everything's happening outside the house, then of course these are going to be needed because everything outside is red and gold. But if it's happening inside and it's going to be snow, uh, snowing or raining or too windy, then we're going to be coming in. I've also got another uh, little treat for Zippy and the dogs. And then last but by no means least, I've also got the reindeer dust. So that will go in his Christmas Eve box. But stay there because I've also got a couple of things from Wilco. I can't do a full haul on this because I just don't have enough stuff. Um, but you have got to go and get this. Every Oh, by the way, I've got some paper plates, which I thought went brilliantly with those. <laughs> but I just, like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to use them because it's the one colour scheme. So I did get... Oh, have I got a card there? Oh, these were really good. So these were in Wilco's and they're Oasis floral product and they're basically a wire. So you can wire things on your tree with them, but you can also do your Christmas wreath. So I am going to be doing a Christmas wreath, whether or not I'll use those for it, but I will do a Christmas wreath for you this year. Another thing is this. This is fabulous. This is what it doesn't make Christmas, but it takes it to that next level because you know I'm absolutely mad. So everything that I have is Christmas. So everything from kitchen roll, I've got hand towels, I've got in every bathroom, I've got every bathroom, I've only got two, um, or three with me on suite. Um, I've also got uh, hand soap, 
I have hand cream, we've got all our cutlery, so no, oh, not cutlery, all our crockery is all Christmas, but this is not all bought in one year, this is collected over years, so Gary and I have collected this over, you know, 20 odd years, but this is Christmas toilet paper, so it is you can see the snow dog, you've got the snowman, and you've also got the little boy. Now that goes in my downstairs toilet, because my downstairs toilet is white, and then it's a black floor, and then the walls, you've seen it, you've probably seen it in my Halloween uh, vlog, and then the walls are like a really light lime green, so that goes perfectly, because it's the same colour as his hat, so that, that matches. Now I wouldn't just have it if it didn't match, it has to match, like I said, I'm a bit OCD that way, so everything has to match, so in the downstairs toilet I've got green soap which I'll show you and I bought that specially um, a year ago from Molten Brown it did cost me a bit but I absolutely loved it but it only goes in my downstairs toilet and then I've got a reindeer and then I've got a, um, uh, a, a hand towel that's Christmas and then I put the Christmas toilet paper so every year what I'll do is I'll always um, treat myself to that little bit of an extra something for Christmas does that make sense um, and last year it was the Molten Brown I think the Molten Brown was like £18 for the hand Soap, and I know that's ludicrous but I absolutely love it and it's got little bells on but I'll show you this year so all of that today from the well not today I bought it um about a week or so ago but that was from home bargains my home bargains haul and I wanted to show you because there's so much there um, and uh, there's so much to see. Now I have done and I have filmed everything, but I'm, I'm showing you today what I bought and this vlog is long enough now. So what I'll do is I'll collaborate and put the home bargain stuff that I filmed uh, with the Poundland stuff that I filmed and the Wilco. So I'll put that in a separate vlog for you. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. It's lovely to have you on board. Um, the more, more, more people on board, the more I get to do for you. And I do want to carry on doing this and carry on vlogging. I really thank you for your support. I thank you for being there. And hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification if you haven't already. I love you lots and I'll see you later.